Who's got the best sounding distortion? AFS is going to put these plugins to the test. Time, time, time you, 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 you were in bed. Recently, I did a video on UAD's new Verve analog machines. And as I was testing it out, I thought, do I really need this? I mean, it sounds great, but I've got the ability to saturate and distort a number of different ways. And if I put some of my existing saturation slash distortion plugins side by side, which one would sound better? Well, that's a pretty subjective question. In fact, it's really subjective. Let's look at a handful of different guitar players. If you are familiar at all with any of these guys and gals, you should be able to recall how the tone of each one is different. Some use more subtle tones, and others, well, you can probably only listen to in doses. That's why there are also thousands of different guitar pedals and algorithms and endless debates about how certain vintage pedals are worth thousands of dollars, and others, not so much. I probably need another distortion slash saturation slash tape wobble plugin, like I need a hole in my head, but we're gonna examine all of these and see how they stack up. I'm gonna run through a ton of different distortions, featuring a couple of really good synth plugins, and then adding various different effects with saturation and distortion options. The idea is to give you opportunity to hear each of the algorithms, and see which ones you like best. I've got loads of synth, bass, and drum examples, each with different tones, so feel free to jump around and use the bookmarks. At the end, I'll pick my favorites from each section and give you my thoughts on the versatility of each of these packages.
For Hyperion, I really appreciate the saturation of the filters. This seems to sound similar to the Sweeten machine in Verve. Both are subtle, but seem to add that glue that just makes everything sound better. Hyperion is great at providing an analog feel with subtle things like minute amounts of LFOs on fine tuning and the ability to randomize start frequencies and pitches, just like you would find on a true analog synth. And you can really hear the movement of the sound with the different distortions engaged. I'm really digging the Verve Hyperion combo, and it does make me want to shell out the $99 for Verve. So let's talk about Verve. I like that I was able to add both color and punch to all the sounds, more so than with any of the other plugins here. That's a big testimony as to how well put together UAD's emulations are. While some of the machines would have limited use for myself, it's nice to hear different options by just clicking on the different colored dots, which can lead to happy accidents. The distort machine was great with drums, as the tone control really made the hi-hat sizzle or the kick hit harder. With some side chaining also, you can dilute that color and make it more subtle, which is one feature that UAD should have included. I think Verve is the best sounding in the bunch for lo-fi, is the best at adding clarity to specific frequency ranges, and is the most professional sounding plugin of the group, with the possible exception of Falcon. For Falcon, I like the fuzz, and it works very well in some instances, but not so well in others. I really like the drive, and I think it's one of the best distortions in this bunch, especially stacked with the other effects. The analog crunch is also good, even though I didn't showcase it. I think the stacked examples here show just how great both Falcon and Hyperion are. The sound quality definitely stands out. Arturia's Cold Fire is one of the most powerful effects in this bunch for its ability to really dial in a sound with all of the controls that you have. Sometimes, though, it takes a while to get that sound you are looking for. Like some of the other plugins on this list, it has a lot of different distortion models, and with the LFOs, you can get some really crazy sounds out of it. Tone wise, I would put it slightly below Falcon and Verve. But if you are looking for a lot of control, then Coldfire really delivers in spades, as does the other multi effect plugin on this list, Infiltrator. Infiltrator has several in your face type distortions that are great, and it also has a ton of different models, even though I only went through a couple. The Adaptive, Broken, and Degrade are nice to have, as they are different from anything else on this list. For me, Infiltrator is kind of like the Jack White of the group. It has a raw sound to it, and it works great for glitch type music and also things like metal and industrial. But it's not my go-to effect specifically for distortion, because it can overpower the other effects a bit when stacked. Not that it's bad, it just has its place. And like Coldfire, it's worth it just for the sheer power under the hood and the 1300 presets. Now for the Dark Horse. Filterverse might have been surprising to some of you. Who would have thought that a filter plugin would be fantastic at distortion? It sounds great, and being able to stack different filters in parallel with different amounts of distortion is huge for sound design. I think Filterverse and Verve were really my two favorite plugins for coloration and sound shaping, and stacking the two gives you incredible tone control from fat, dull, muddy saturation to cold, brittle, edgy overdrive. Both Cold Fire and Infiltrator let you do this as well, but having three filters in parallel is the killer effect with Filterverse. The crazy thing is that I was only using the Swiss Army Knife filter, and there are six total filter types that have drive on them, so sound shaping can be a lot of fun. I'm glad I went through this exercise because I had forgotten just how many different types of distortion effects I had on hand and how great they can sound when stacked. All of the effects shown today are really useful to me. They're all in my Reaper favorites, and they all get used regularly. I also think I'm probably sold on Verve, so UAD will get 99 of my dollars in the near future. Do you like this content? Let me know in the comments what your favorite distortion of the bunch was. Hope this was helpful if you are in the market for a distortion plugin. Hit that like and subscribe and the bell. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.